Answer us, Lord, for your mercy is kind. In the abundance of your mercies, look upon us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to our lasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, Look with compassion on our weakness, and ensure us your protection by stretching forth the right hand of your majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, if you remove from your midst oppression, false accusations, and malice speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. Then the Lord will guide you always and give you plenty, even on the parched land. He will renew your strength, and you shall be like the watered garden, like a spring whose water never fails. The ancient ruin shall be rebuilt for your sake, and the foundations from ages past you shall rise up. Repairer of the breach they shall call you, restorer of ruined homesteads. If you hold back your foot on the Sabbath from following your own pursuits on my holy days, if you call the Sabbath a delight and the Lord's holy day honorable, if you honor it by following your ways, seeking your own interests or speaking with malice, then you shall delight in the world. And I will make you ride on the heights of the earth. I will nourish you with the heritage of Jacob your father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Amen. Teach me your ways, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Incline your ear, O Lord, answer me, for I am afflicted and poor. Keep my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for to you I call all the day. Gladden the souls of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my pleading. I took, take no pleasure in the death of the wicked man, says the Lord, but rather in his conversion, that he may live. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, King of heaven's glory. The Lord be with you. And with your 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the customs post. He said to him, Follow me. And leaving everything behind, he got up and followed him. Then Levi gave a great banquet for him in his house, and a large crowd of tax collectors and others were at table with him. The Pharisees and their scribes complained to his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus said to them in reply, those who are healthy do not need a physician, but the sick do. I have come, I have not come to call the righteous to repentance, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Our gospel reminds us of a couple of things for us to take to heart during this Lenten season, where the first is the Lord calls us from where we are to immediately do what we are called to do, that we have that immediacy in our Lord's calling in our lives. So whether it is that call to prayer, we say, okay, I need to pray now, unless, of course, if it's an emergency or something that we can't get out of, and even then, we can probably do a silent prayer as it's going on. But there is that sense that our Lord is calling us immediately into action, whether it is in prayer, whether it is in fasting, whether it is in almsgiving, that we're called from that great way of the everydayness of life to this new rule or this new way, though it shouldn't be, it should be part of our lives in this season of Lent, but at least exemplified or turned up to a higher level. The second is that as our Lord calls us, the Lord calls us to gather all those around us who need to hear that message as well. For Levi called fellow tax collectors, fellow friends, to have a meal with Jesus so that they too might know the word of God in their lives. We are called to gather people to the Lord so that they too might receive what the Lord has given to us, that as we have known the friendship as we have known the love as we have experienced that in our lives so too we call others to experience it as well so that they too might know the lord and love the lord as we know and love the lord and third and just in a part just minorly the scribes and pharisees were there too or they were just passing by so it's hard to tell but if they were already at the table it is such a great testament to Levi, a testament to our Lord, that even those who are disagreeing with the Lord at that moment are still welcomed at the table so that they might come to that point of conversion. So that through that generosity, through that love, through that great truth that is in the Lord, they too might know the Lord in their lives, which we see in people like Nicodemus and Joseph Arimathea, those good Pharisees who came to the Lord. My dear sisters and brothers, during this season of Lent, let us continually know those great ways of the Lord so that we might be able to do those disciplines right away in our life and call others to to them, to to them as well, as well as welcome those who are maybe outside of that circle so that we might be able to go toward those that might need our almsgiving a little bit more, go towards those that might need our prayers a little bit more, going toward those that we can change by our fasting to help them. So that through that, we might be joined in that great way of Levi, who is able to be counted as one of the apostles of our Lord and among the saints of the church. My dear sisters and brothers, God has appointed the days to train our hearts, and so we offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. That those whose hearts have practiced hardness may hear a word which awakens them, we pray to the Lord. Amen. That those of all faiths will unite their care with you, with their care for the lives of the whole human family. We pray to the Lord. Lord that our sins of omission may be forgiven, and that our hearts will choose to remember all those who need us. We pray to the Lord. Lord that we may not be afraid to honor the Sabbath, and to choose patterns and practices which ensure freedom and rest. 
we pray to the Lord. That those who are sick and suffering receive your mercy, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for St. Paul, the six parishioners, for peace in our world, especially in Ukraine and the Middle East, and for Oscar Valdavinos, Valdavinos on what would have been his 30th birthday. We pray to the Lord. Lord that those who have gone before us may walk in your everlasting light, which knows no darkness. We pray to the Lord. Lord and for your own intentions. Lord, help us to be the bearer of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our daily lives. Love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, generosity, self-control. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the end of abortion in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all these prayers and those in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, may our fasting and affliction not be fruitless before you, but may our pursuit of justice bring you delight through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer to you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. will become for us the bread of life. Amen. By the mystery of water and wine, we can share the goodness of Christ to humble himself. To share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its working, we may be ever mindful, may we, we may offer minds well pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to be thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal Feast, with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer, and on the works of charity, and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the host of powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul VI, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God,
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. I desire mercy, not sacrifice, says the Lord, for I did not come to call the just, but sinners. Let us pray. Nourished with the gift of heavenly life, we pray, O Lord, that what remains for us a mystery in this present life may be for us a help to reach eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow down for one sin. Abide graciously, O Lord, with your people who have touched the sacred mystery that no dangers may bring affliction to those who trust in you, their protector, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Together, let's pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our Church, of our world, and of our community. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Just pray the prayer to our Mother of Mothers, which is on the front cover of the Catholic Book. Mother of Mother, Mother Mothers, Mothers, Holy Queen, chosen before all women, to be the Mother of the Son of God. Mary, my Mother, who in your maternity have so sanctified the state of Holy Motherhood. Imploring thee, I come to you. Humbly, I beseech you. Confidently, I trust in you. I know that you can, by your all-powerful intercession, help me in my need. In you I take refuge, dear Virgin, for in needy I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your hands. Betray not my humble trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid. Dear Mother of Mothers, amen. Mother of Mothers.